At exactly 12 o'clock, high noon, approximately 50,000 folks were gathered at the Kansas border hoping for a better life. Earlier that year, the Pemberton Medicine Company was incorporated in Atlanta, Georgia. We now know them by the iconic product that bears the company's name, Coca-Cola. Benjamin Harrison, who by the way looks almost exactly like Obi-Wan Kenobi, had just become the 23rd President of the United States. Later in that same year, the Wall Street Journal would be established and Van Gogh would paint Starry Night. But where I live, every year we hold numerous parades on April 22nd to commemorate the great Oklahoma land rush of 1889. And this land rush is a great example to illustrate key aspects of management. What exactly is management? This is the question we explore in this class. The key aspects of management include planning, organizing, leading, and controlling. We see considerable elements of planning in the land rush. For example, the kind of planning that led to this event was accomplished years prior when President Lincoln signed the Homestead Act of 1862, which allowed settlers in new lands to claim lots of up to 160 acres. Some advanced and illegal planning manifested when folks known as the Sooners entered and staked their claims before the legal entry time. Organizing occurred when, after only a half day, the towns of Guthrie and Oklahoma City were born with over 10,000 new residents. The town then needed the next element of management, leadership, such as that found by the first provisional mayor, William L. Couch. Unfortunately, his leadership efforts were short-lived as he was murdered in a dispute over his own land claim shortly after he left office. The fourth and final key element of management is controlling. Although developed years later, Oklahoma is known for an innovative device created by two Oklahomans that helped control car location while generating income for the city. The world's first working parking meter appeared in Oklahoma City in 1935. In this class, you'll learn about different types of managers, the nature of managerial work, the relationships between management and the performance of firms. Those involved in the land rush of 1889 became the first citizens of Oklahoma. And in this class, you'll also learn about organizational citizenship behaviors, the behaviors managers encourage that make individuals good citizens of the businesses where they work. Management relates to individuals, groups, and organizations, and we'll learn about all of these types of management in this class. As Will Rogers once said, there are three types of men, the one that learns by reading, the few who learn by observation, the rest of them have to pee on the electric fence for themselves. To help better understand certain elements of management, I encourage you to explore your learning style as you begin this course and start on your journey to learn more about management, because we all have something we can better manage and our own learning is a great place to start.